Okay, we're gonna see another capability of the social engineering toolkit in this demo right here. So let's go to option one and use spear phishing attacked. So go to option one to pick. Now what's the difference between phishing and spear phishing? Again, phishing is where an email contains a phishing link or a scam that's sent to many recipients. Spear phishing is spear-like, it focuses. It's an email that's sent to a particular person whose system you wish to hack or someone you want to get information from. So now this attack and set is pretty easy. You just need to use the correct options and have an email ready and a Gmail account or SMT, SMTP server for yourself. Now for the Gmail account, I recommend that we create something relatively anonymous, not the email that we use in our daily life. So for a mass email attack, go ahead and create a file format payload or create a social engineering template. Now we will use option two, which is to create the file format. Here we have different options to use. So this is the payload that will be attached to that email. We have something for Microsoft RTF, good. We have something for PDF, and we have different things for Adobe Applet and so on. So we will use the PDF option, which you can see here is number 11. So it's a PDF with an executable embedded in it. Use your own PDF attack or built-in blank PDF for the attack. Now I'm gonna use number two, it's built in. Now, when the victim opens the attachment, it's going to connect back to our system using a payload. So let's say with reverse TCP for Metasploit uh, and an IP address for the listener. Now you want to have a public IP address if you are attacking somebody on the internet. If you are attacking a local area network, uh, private IP will be perfectly fine. I'm gonna ahead change the port, give it a second. Let's finish generating the payload. And there we are, done, okay. Now it's better to rename the payload. So option two, rename the file. Give it a name that might not be suspicious to your victim. I think we'll use uh, ebooks.pdf, pretty generic, or whatever is the topic of your email, it's up to you. Uh, it would be better to match the topic of your email, of course. So now single email address or mass email, we want to accomplish spear phishing. So again, we're gonna use one email address, not a mass email. We've got our templates ready. Now, of course, uh, you can use your own imagination. You can create a new template, but for now, uh, just to save some time, just for the sake of the demo, we're gonna use a, a predefined template. Now choose any option. I'm gonna choose number eight for further confirmation. Send to the email target at target.com. And uh, again, use your Gmail account or SMTP server. I'm gonna use Gmail at this point. And here's my account, hacker at gmail.com. Hit enter. Now you're gonna need a password for that Gmail account for the name. Don't put hacker, of course, uh, but since I'm just showing you, showing you, I'm, I'm gonna put hacker just for fun and uh, go ahead and type the password. Uh, we're gonna flag the message as high priority. Yeah, I think we will. And we now are all set. Now I'm not sure if the email exists, hacker at Gmail, and I just typed rubbish for the password so it will not connect for now and send the email, but it just shows you how we can do that. This is what you have to do to create a Gmail account. Now actually creating a Gmail account that is not known to everyone or you did not use it for your regular email, uh, but you can use it freely for this type of phishing email. It's unable to connect to the mail server and that's totally fine. So it's not the internet issues, the password is wrong, so you're good to go here. Now once set delivers the email, you should start the listener. When the victim executes the attachment, you want to get uh, or catch his connection to your system. We are starting Metasploit, and then you wait for the victim to connect to our computer. And that's really it. That's all you have to do. We're set. Hey. Hey, Jeff, I just wanted to add one thing there to what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Hackers can easily steal your data with legitimate applications downloaded from unofficial sites. Mm -hmm. Now, these applications work properly when they're installed, except that they contain spyware that sends the credentials used to perform the installation back to the hacker. Sure. That's something to consider. There. Yep, thanks.